Welcome to our five on five. Pleased to be joined today by Pat Murphy, the director of the Grants Pass Sobering Center. Pat, good to see you. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. So let's let's talk about what you guys do there. It's two years now. You guys have been it's open. Two years. Yes. Uh, what exactly are you guys doing there at the facility? Well, we're uh, we're sobering up people. We're uh, we take people who are um, intoxicated from drugs or alcohol. Um, it's a twenty four hour limit, um, as far as the statute goes. Uh, you know, we sober them up or, or give them the opportunity to come down off whatever substance they might be on. Okay. To make it, sure they're safe. And uh, then we do some discharge planning on the back end to uh, find further services for them. Okay. And, and you guys are pretty unique, you tell me. There's not many units like this in the state. Not many, no. There's only, we're the only freestanding sobering center in the state. Uh, there are three other uh, sobering units which are attached to other services, uh, primarily medical det detox. Okay, and, and how many people would you say you average a week? Well, we average uh, between three and four a day. Okay, and, and uh, are these people coming in of their own volition? or family members bringing them in? Law enforcement? How are people entering your doors? Um, at this point, about 30% um, refer themselves. Um, and the other 70% are, is a plethora of of referral sources all the way from law enforcement to the ER, uh, treatment centers, primary care, and even family members. Okay, and, and you guys have, have now been open two years. Have you seen a change in the numbers that are coming in your door, or has it been pretty steady? Well, the first year uh, it took the community uh, some time to get used to how to use us, you know, sure. because they had whatever solutions they had previous to us. Um, and they had to figure out how to change their systems in order to fit us into their system. Okay, and, and how many people do you guys have on staff to handle those three or four people a day? We have seven people on staff. Okay. Um, so. It's usually only one at a time, unless when the sixth referral walks through the door, then we bring a second person on. Okay, and, and I imagine, you know, a, a unit like this, you guys have a lot of rules and regulations you follow, everything is very by the book. Yes, yeah, we have a really strict protocols uh, right down to a, a, a graph matrix that tells us what to do with uh, different uh, vital signs. Hmm. Interesting. Um, you know, everywhere from a normal situation where we check them every eight hours to uh, a category where we uh, call medical immediately and send them to the ER to be checked out. Wow. All right. Very good. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll have much more in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our 5 on 5. Again, we're here with Pat Murphy, the director of the Grants Pass Sobering Center. So, Pat, we're talking about a two-year anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you. That's very exciting for you guys. Do, do you guys accommodate both men and women? Absolutely, yes. Okay. And what about cost? There's no cost. No, really? It's a free service, yes. Interesting. Okay. Now, how are you guys able to pull that off on, on your end? Well, we're funded uh, by many different organizations uh, or, or entities, I should say, uh, the, the County, the city, um, the CC, local CCOs, um, Asante, uh, Evergreen Bank, uh, Options for Southern Oregon. Um, you know, many of those funders are are, are partners in in this uh, sobering venture. Yeah. So it's very much a community project, and got a lot of a lot of hands helping out. Okay. So, um, what about your discharge process? How does how does that work? Well, we. Um, you know, it, we call it our, our second number one priority. Our first number one priority is uh, keeping the people safe. And um, once they're sobered up or have come down off whatever drug they're on, um, we do discharge planning with them to find uh, uh, services for them. We identify their primary barrier to healthy living and uh, then through network and referral go after that barrier. Uh, we have a couple different levels, uh, three different levels of discharge planning. Um, our most important one is our, our discharge plan number three, which is where the individual will actually spend uh, time with us uh, up to a few days um, uh, doing network and referral. Um, and in that process, we've, we've had 47 people go through that process since we opened, uh, 41 of them uh, successfully placed in medical detox, residential treatment, outpatient treatment, some for housing. Um, one into the job core, um, whatever it is that w between them and us, we can identify as their greatest need. 
Wow, okay. And, and tell us about the event you have going tomorrow to celebrate this two-year anniversary. Uh, tomorrow is our celebration of recovery. Um, it's uh, from 11 to 1. We really celebrate, you know, the, the community partners that have helped put this all together and uh, that we provide services for, you know, because before we came along, um, uh, people intoxicated would be taking up space at the ER or they would have to be taken to jail. Um, so it's been a great benefit to the community in that way. And um, we're a benefit to the community as far as those people who do suffer from the disease of addiction, um, you know, by helping them find a solution. Okay, great to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank All you. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.